Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the McFarlane Toys Mortal Kombat 11 Noob Cybot. And this is not the Noob Cybot most of you will recognize if you have not played Mortal Kombat 11. It doesn't look anything like a ninja. Not really. I'm wondering, we'll just do a question of the day right now. Do you guys like this new look for Noob, or do you prefer the more classic look where he's basically just a black and translucent version of... Sub-Zero. Let me know what you think about that. I'm definitely more partial to the more traditional look, but this is kind of a cool look regardless. Okay, so this figure has a lot to talk about. Some good, some bad, and uh, we'll see how we turn out, how it turns out, how we end up thinking about it by the end of the review. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. Uh, this guy stands just about 18 and a half centimeters, give or take, which makes him pretty close to seven and a quarter inches. And the first thing I have to say about it is it is packed with detail. Not surprising, McFarlane Toys does tend to do that whenever they can. So there's tons of digital sculpting on this guy, like the whole thing is. So you can just see clothing textures and all kinds of stuff throughout. It's all as packed full of detail as you can possibly imagine. Little wrinkles, different materials, nicks in the armor plate. Anything you could imagine to be on there would be on there sculpted. And the paintwork does match for the most part. There's an equally good paint job on there. You can see the different colors going on. Some dry brushing going on in his little loincloth thingy. All of the silver parts have this kind of goldish, bronzish uh, dry brush on top to make it look kind of worn. His face has decent paint job on it. I really hate that they didn't give him eyebrows. It just looks weird. I'm not, I'm not blaming McFarlane for it unless it is in the game. I assume this is accurate, but anyway, you get different uh, textures, different colors. There's lots of paint and sculpt work in here, so I think most people are going to like it from that perspective. I'm staying in tight so you can see the details. Alright, so aesthetically speaking, they did a good job. It seems well proportioned. It doesn't look too bad. And uh, I, think, uh, I think anybody who's looking for this for the looks will be happy with this figure. So aesthetically speaking, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. That's pretty darn good. As far as accessories go, uh, we don't have any fist hand. We, the only hands we have with him are the two hands that come on him in the package, and they are trigger finger hands, which is mind-blowing to me, because somehow every McFarlane figure, no matter who the character is, ends up with trigger finger hands, and that makes zero sense. No sense at all. Very, very strange that Noob Saibot has trigger finger hands. He does also come with his little sickle or scythe or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what the uh, term is. I always confuse the two. I don't know which one is the long one. I think a scythe is the short one, so that's what this is. I guess, um, or it's some kind of shodel or something else, I don't know. Whatever, he comes with that, and then he comes with a little black display stand that says Mortal Kombat on it. Uh, not good. We need fist hands for a fighting game character. Seems reasonable enough. Uh, 5 out of 10 for accessories. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the articulation. The head is on. It feels like a single ball peg. I would assume it was a double, but it feels a lot like a single. You can get decent range out of it to the side. That's pretty cool. Looking up, yeah, almost none. Looking down, down works pretty well. So you should be able to get enough posing done with this. You can obviously do some more subtle posing. It's not as limited as like a Marvel Legends. It probably is a double ball peg. It has to be, right? Feels like it. it. Feels like it now that I've loosened it, I should say. Okay, so for this, it's all one solid piece. And so it's very difficult to get it out of the way because it doesn't get out of the way. But the arms work pretty well regardless. They are connected on a ball peg that lets them shift around. But if you want to raise the arm up, you just raise it up and you can get to horizontal. You're not going to get it much past that because of the shoulder pad, but that should be enough for most posing. And then same thing for rotating it forward. You can rotate it up until this gets in the way. Being a softer material, it does flex and it doesn't look too bad, but you are going to be limited, of course, to not be able to go all the way up. Bicep swivel is fine, double jointed elbow works fine. The gauntlet gets in the way a little bit, but you should be okay. For the wrists, you have ball hinges, so you should have plenty of range. Whatever you need to do should work. The gauntlets get in the way again, but you should be okay with that still. All right, for the torso, we have, I can't tell if it's a single or a double, but we do have one up here for the torso, upper torso to the abdomen. And it moves around pretty well. Uh, they still don't lean forward. For whatever reason, McFarlane figures have gun fingers, trigger fingers, and they can't lean forward. It's a thing. I don't know if they're trying to set a new standard or whatever, but that's what's happening. Does lean back nicely. Side to side is acceptable. We also have another ball peg at the bottom. So, using those two together, you get your side to side and backwards, just not much forward at all. So that's a little bit limiting. You do get your rotation, of course. This is soft, but it's all one piece around the back here, so let's see how it affects the hips. Yeah, not too bad. He can still do the splits. 
So some kicking poses should be fine. That shouldn't really be an issue. Going forward, yeah, this gets out of the way enough, so that's all right. Again, kicking shouldn't be an issue. Works nicely. Double jointed knee does work well. My knee pad was not connected in the package, so I had to uh, put that on, but it just tabs in and glues. Uh, thigh swivel, you ask? There is technically a little bit of one, but not much. There is a thigh swivel built in just above the knee, though, which is a little bit weird. It's not part of the knee. It's actually up here above the second knee joint. So both are just regular knee hinges, and then you get your thigh swivel there, which is better than nothing, and it's very well hidden, so I'll take it. For the ankles, we have a ball hinge. Relatively limited range going back. Pretty decent range going forward. And then of course you get your ankle rocker and that'll be perfect depending on how you shimmy that little joint around. So that'll be good. And then we have our toe hinge, which is not a terrible toe hinge. It's it's pretty good for toe hinge standards. They did a decent job. It's, it's all right, I'll take it. So articulation on this guy, it's pretty good. It's not great, but it's definitely pretty good. I would say given the sculpt and everything, I'll give the articulation a seven out of 10. It could be a lot better, but it is not bad. So this guy gets a final rating of, well, let's see, it had really good aesthetics, crap accessories, and decent articulation. I'll go eight out of 10. It's a strong enough release that if you were looking to pick it up, you won't be disappointed too much. If you weren't looking to pick it up, then you might not care, but you might think it looks good enough to pick up anyway, and that's what the review is for. It's to give you the information you need to decide if you want to spend your hard-earned money. And this guy, yeah, eight out of 10, not a bad buy. Definitely could do a lot worse for the price point. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down. And let me know why in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed, you might want to. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.